We have no milk. We only have six dollars in our bank account. So I'm afraid we can't use it on milk. This granola is all we have left. It's not a condiment. Why can't we have it with milk? We just need to hold on until one of us get to booking. Maybe I should apply for a real job. Don't forget that God called us to start our business. But nothing is on the horizon for either of us. When we were visiting Grandpa and Grandma, they had more than enough of everything. Let's say the Lord's Prayer. Again, it's the prayer Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And milk! If we love God, why don't we even have any milk? Let's get some fresh air. Hear those birds? Yes. I know two things about birds. The Bible says they don't have refrigerators. The Bible doesn't say that. Well, Michaela, it says they don't have storehouses. But the point is, God feeds them. The Bible also says, if a sparrow falls to the ground, then God sees it fall. The Bible never promises birds won't fall to the ground. And it never promises that we won't also fall to the ground. No matter how much we love God. But if God sees the birds, then he sees us. And if God provides for birds, <laughs> He'll provide for us. The Bible never promises it'll be easy. If God sees, then He cares. And if He cares, He responds. What does your name mean? Tibu, for who is like God. 
He's the one that called your dad and I to start our business. And that takes time. We have to trust him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth is in heaven. In the day of his greatest distress, David says, I cried aloud to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. Now, I used to think that crying aloud was some sort of elevated form of prayer. But David's own son is bringing up an army against him. I don't think he's trying to elevate his prayer right now. I think he's being brutally honest with the Lord. Maybe pitching a fit. Maybe a more apt translation would be, I pitched a fit. And God heard me in the moment of my distress from his holy hill. I can't imagine raising an army to kill my own dad. I know, right? <clears throat> Oh, good morning. Hi, has Larry found you all yet? There y'all are. Y'all were on the pastor's heart yesterday morning when we were setting food aside for our community outreach. He said we ought to set some food aside for you. Would that work for y'all? Uh, yeah, yes it would. <laughs> well, follow us. Who did you tell? Not a soul. Just the Lord. Here you go. We're so grateful. We were blessed too. We set aside some oranges. Could you make use of those? Oh yeah. I prayed for oranges yesterday when you two were on the porch. We set six gallons of milk aside for you. Would that be something you could use? Yes it would. And Michaela can carry it all out to the car. <laughs> Are we missing an inside joke? I pitched a fit because we had no milk. That was yesterday morning. Amen. <laughs> 